Hi guys. <laughs> okay, brief PowerPoint Yahweh's put together, beginning with the Ark of the Covenant here. And uh, you're all familiar with Ron Wyatt, who discovered the Ark of the Covenant underneath the cross in Jeremiah's grotto, where it had been hidden approximately 600 years before. And it has the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. There was an earthquake that happened and the blood was washed down through a thunderstorm and the residue of it, it made its way through 20 feet of rock, through the fissure, it opened up with the earthquake and the blood is on the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant. That blood's been tested and it's absolutely the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. It has just 24 chromosomes in total instead of 46, 23 of them being the, fem uh, the, the chromosomes from Mary the mother and just one Y chromosome. There should have been another 22 chromosomes from a human father. It was identified as human by the lab technicians with just one parent. So um, the miracle was the holding back of the other chromosomes. The Y chromosome was the only one contributed by his father, Joseph ben Jacob Israel. And that's what Yahweh has been telling the world for a very long time. It was a natural conception, but the miracle was the holding back of the other chromosomes. Now, that's not what this is. A, oh, oh, well, the Ark of the Covenant is really interesting. When Israel sent in their dudes to investigate after Ron Wyatt did all of the work, it took him eight years. Um, they had to call Ron Wyatt, of course, to come back from America and go in and pull out the dead bodies of the Israelis. Ron Wyatt says there were four that went in. Others say that were six, but he, we'll stick with it. He, he said there were four bodies that he brought out. They'd all had strokes, their eyes crossed. Nobody could approach uh, going in to retrieve the bodies. They knew the stories of the Ark of the Covenant and nobody can approach and live except those who are holy. And Ron Wyatt did live, although he uh, blanked out for 45 minutes before he came to after discovering it when he broke through the wall at 2 p.m. on January 6, 1982. And on that day in 1982, the Christ, Ryan Leonard Imasha, was 1982 weeks old. So that's how God works. It's all in the numbers. It's not in the book everybody's been reading. That's manipulated. It's uh, the numbers of the chapters and verses working with the book that is holy, which is the 1830 James Strong's Concordance listing of all of the words. Now, a piano playing professor, Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, was looking forward to retirement when Pope John Paul inconveniently died, as far as he was concerned. He said he never wanted to be Pope, and as a matter of fact, he said that he was praying to God that he wouldn't be made Pope. Revelation 17 predicts, predicts that in the time the Vatican has been a state within Italy, there will have been seven men, and the eighth will be of the seven. Quoting, and the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into per perdition. Now, perdition means destroying, utter destruction of vessels, or two, a perishing, ruined destruction um, of money, or B, the destruction which consists of eternal misery in hell. From the church perspective, it's destruction at the hands of the man of perdition. Joseph Ratzin Ratzinger has been found guilty by the International Court of Common Law, ICCL, found guilty of the crimes against humanity that the cardinal, cardinals back through time have permitted. The sacrifice of children, child molestation, homosexuality, murder, and failing to let the world know that there is a cure for AIDS and malaria, which is the biggest killer of people in all the world, especially children. Kevin Annette was in Port Alberni. He's the man that was uh, behind all of this from, he was in Port Alberni at the same time that the Christ was, the years 1991 to 1995. The time, uh, yeah. Now, the Christ was in the newspapers continually regarding the abdication, abdication demand to the Queen, tell the vagina to get her, <laughs> tell the vagina to get her vagina off my throne, and on trial for telling his wife to tell the truth of the miracles she had seen, but she would not bear witness. Kevin Annette had ample opportunity to seek the Christ out, but he didn't. There he is. There were countless thousands murdered in the native Indian schools. Most often or not, children with TB or some other diseases were seated next to their healthy children. The average native child often died within a few years of being at the orphanages or the schools. Now, Annette was not interested in speaking to the Christ. 
during those years, nor was he interested in 2010 when he was once again contacted. Sherry, I'm sure it was Sherry, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, um, called his office, spoke with the secretary for some time. She was really excited, blown away, was going over to look at all the uploads then, but um, that was when the Michelle and I channel was up. And uh, she was really excited, took the phone number and assured us that uh, Annette would phone, however, as pre expected, nothing. Now, the ICCL tried the case of the Pope and the Queen, finding them guilty of genocide and crimes against humanity. Now, Annette was a church minister at the time that he was living in Port Alberni, BC, Canada. If he was at all genuine, he would have tried to seek out Brian, the Christ, uh, to expose him as being a fraud. However, no, even though he was friends with all of the local natives, being a taxi driver, not one phone call. Lots of things happened while he was there, all kinds of miracles, but no way, Jose. You'd think a man of the cloth would see who this local curiosity was because all the same people that he was uh, mixing with, so was uh, the Christ, all of the native Indians. They used to call him Jesus. And uh, the Jesus Ark he was building. There it is, the address, 8508 Sterling Arm Drive, Port Alberni. It's where he lived. Now, it's all come to light, thanks, Diana, for uh, doing the research and finding what you have and sending it to everybody else. And yet is now confirmed by researchers on the internet, what we always been saying for years. He's all part of the world order and the fake Jews attempting to forbid crisis per Protocol number 14, we shall forbid Christ. Now, from Germany, one of our contacts there emailed um, where the Pope is staying and got a reply. It specifically mentions the Christ and his name. In other words, he is surrounded by demons in high places, and that's exactly what the stars were saying overhead for Rome. He's a, he's a prisoner. Uh, the response was, dear friend, I'm afraid it's impossible to contact the Holy Father Emeritus Benedict the 16th, if you truly wish to speak with him, visit Castel de Gondolfo and contact the prefect of the papal household, uh, Archbishop George. I'm serious, it's worth a try. If, however, the reason to speak with him is because of, as you mentioned, Brian Lenigo Lightly Marshall, who claims he is Christ Jesus, then the answer is no. The Holy Father, even though he resigned his pontiff, is still extremely busy and his time is precious. Please don't waste it. So the world order... It's all Zionist control, as you know, emails, letters, telegrams, telephones, it doesn't matter, you know, you make no headway using those. Now, attempting to contact the nuns in Rome, everything goes through New York. It's all examined and stopped. The Pope has staff all loyal to Lucifer. The Zionist Jews' biggest fear is that the, is the Christ speaking to the Pope. What this tells us is that they know all about Brian and Miguel Lightly Marshall. They know what they do not want you to know, and it will be their utter destruction. Revelation 17, 11, and the beast that was and is not even, he is the eighth and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. And then Matthew 10, 28, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Of course, everybody knows this is hell. And this is what they fear. This is the end of the road for them. That's why they don't want you to know what they know, that the Christ is already back. Now, I, uh, I mailed this. This is rather extraordinary. This is a, a copy of the slip. Rushed off to the post office to get there before 5.30. Four of us went. And uh, the man in the post office, very helpful, probably took a good uh, at least, that well, was probably 15 minutes before we decided which way to send it. He investigated all kinds of ways. He even made phone calls because he said the last mail for the day had already gone at 4.45. It was already after 5 o'clock. He took it upon himself to make a phone call from the post office, used his mobile to speak to the uh, courier driver who had already picked up the mail and it was arranged that uh, if I got, got it all together fast enough, I could take it down to the depot where they were loading all the trucks and it would go in Friday's mail rather than Monday's, which would mean that um, this gets to the Pope on Monday. Now, of course, we examine everything. When I brought it home, looking at the time that it was scanned at the post office, 
it was this was the final act before I took it and ran out of there. Of course, the time was 1711. Hello. <laughs> Revelation 1711. Let's just read it again. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. Now, of course, we're talking about the, the system, the entire system. Let's go up to the Lateran Treaty. The Lateran Treaty was one of the Lateran Pacts of 1929, or Lateran Accords, agreements made in 1929 between the Kingdom of Italy and the Holy See, signed on February 11, 1929, and ratified by the Italian Parliament on June 7, 1929, settling the Roman question. The present Pope, of course, resigned on the same date, February the 11th, 2013. Of course, February the 11th is the birth date of the father of the Christ. He was born in 1909, 20 years before the pact was signed. The difference in time from when that pact was signed to 2013 is 84 years, which happens to be the English gematory for Emmanuel and means God with us, while the name of Christ today is Marshall, which also has the same gematria of 84. During the period of 1991 to 1995, living on Sprout Lake, uh, Port Alberni in Canada, the following map is from the Government Surveyor's Office in Port Alberni. <laughs> this is how God does things, guys. It's not in the words, it's in the measuring of his temple. Here we go, lot one, two, three, and lot 84 remains unchanged. Let's go over to see what happened to it. Plan 197, your name, Brian Leonard Marshall, atomic weight of gold, <laughs> and block 7770777 is um, the holy city, the last one, last mention of 777 mentions of city within the book everybody's reading and ensnared by, and the last one is the Holy City. Originally, the four lots shown were lots 81, 82, 83, 84. Then a section was subdivided and sold. New lot numbers were allotted or issued. Lot 1 became 3. So we've got 81 plus 3 equals 84. Lot 2 became 2. So you've got 82 plus 2 equals 84. And lot 3 became 1. 83 plus 1 equals 84. And in Australia, the Christ sister's phone number ended 8484. So we come down to the resurrection of the most evil man ever to have occupied the position as Pope. The Pope, for some obscure reason, according to the Church, is the Vicar of Christ. As such, he rules as Christ. Therefore, all Popes are representative of God in the flesh. And personally, the Christ has no idea where the lunacy comes from. It's like saying, put on the mind of Christ. You can't do that because you ain't him. You haven't a clue how he thinks. The tomb of Pope John Paul II has a webcam overlooking it. He is entombed in a sealed coffin, which means royal and king, and another sealed inside a lead coffin, which is 800 pounds in weight. The gematria for Lord in Greek and finally a stone box, possibly representing <coughs> excuse me, the Ark of the Covenant. The cardinals pray daily for the resurrection of the Pope. And here they are. What kind of mentality do you call this down? Satanic. What else? I can, Utterly stupid. I can think of a name beginning with F. Blackwoods. Yes. Oh. We're all fucking here. Uh, now, the idea is to elect an extra Pope added by the Church a very long time ago, changing the 111 Popes of the Malachi prophecy to 112. They, they added an extra one. It's a, it's, it's a lie. Then once the new Pope takes his position as God, the Vicar of Christ, the soul of Pope John Paul II is planned to re-enter. Now what has been overlooked and why the church has a giant telescope in the USA and named it L-U-C-I-F-E-R, an acronym for Lucifer. Here's the headlines. He is risen! Body of late pomp, Pope John Paul II exhumed ahead of his beatification in the Vatican by the Daily Mail reporter, updated at 1657 GMT, 29th of April 2011. 
So Pope John Paul II's coffin was exhumed today ahead of his beatification as tens of thousands of people began arriving in Rome for one of the biggest events in the Catholic Church since his funeral in 2005. The coffin was removed from the crypts below St Peter's Basilica while top Vatican officials and some of the late Pope's closest aides looked on and prayed. This is like a very um, sick, stupid, childish script, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's, um, how, they, how, how people get to go along with this is, uh, well... The Pope's in hell and that's where he's staying. Mm, totally. Can't get out of there. Perhaps the Pope is entombed. Oh, here we go. He's God's sense of humour. Perhaps the Pope is entombed face down so that when opened, his homosexual friends will recognise him. He said that about Philip. That's the way he's going, didn't you? That's right. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's, what his, that's what his buddy... That's what the, what, that's what the guys who said they had Philip... Yeah. It was a joke. Mm. He would get so drunk when he was uh, in the Navy that he would stumble forward onto his stomach, ass up, and then he was had by his fellow sailors. They call Philip the Black Prince. Here they are. Oh, what a holy moment. Not. Got to count how many people is there. Yes, let, let, let's have a count. I see very few women um, because, frankly, it's men who are the idiots, the fuckwits. That's why they're not going to be ruling much longer. They'll be out of here. Now, what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 standing around in their cassocks, their black and their, their Jewish skull caps on their heads. And um, how many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, men trying to handle the, the coffin. What's that? What did I say? First one? 19. 25, wasn't it? 25 plus 11. Anyway, somebody reminds. I thought it was about 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. It's 28 there. This dude. 28. Yeah, 29. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 39. All up. And then one in the box. Plus the one in box 40. Yeah, Walden, that's all right. Devoid of brains. Oh, here it is. Here it is. The most evil man who has ever lived. In hell. Yeah. Now, we know that these Satanists don't do anything without a precise reason. They don't gather around after Mass and ask, like, you know, any, any, <laughs> any ideas, brothers in Satan? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Got a new drink some child's blood, brothers? No, we did that Friday. Well, we could exhume the Pope. Good idea. Get the crew. We can build him into an altar and toss some incense around. Ah, that's incense. Father John. Yeah, right. Right, brother. Here he is again. Now, let's look at the stars in the mass. 29th of April 2011, exhumed and Pope vote counted on October the 15th, 1978. When the sunlight above Rome was 666 minutes for that day. So 11,885 days or 1,697 weeks, six days. We arrive at his exhumation. That's my Canadian number. 697, that's, that's right. That's the IRSL number. It is too. 697. One and is alpha. That's how many times the word word. I am is found. I am and word. And word. <laughs> and uh, 697 is Marshall. <laughs> And the 1697 is word. <laughs> okay, so 11885 days is 4646 years. And in Hebrew, breathing out of life, Greek is froward, perverse, crooked, as in the crooked cross that uh, we just had a look at. The crooked cross, perverse, froward, all of those things. 
So, Pope writes in due quits on the 11th of February 2013, this is 623 days later, Revelation 9-11, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue has his name Apollon, Apollyon 623, so Satan. Polyon is the destroyer. So it's the angel of the bottomless pit is the destroyer. It is reported that Ratzinger wanted to quit earlier on the 14th of April in 2012. And on that date, the sunrise to sunset for Rome was 800 minutes. And it is the gematria for the word Lord in Greek. It's almost as if he was watching how the Christ does the numbers. A significant date coming up, of course, is March 22nd, 322, 2013. The Skull and Bones Lodge number in Yale is 322. Its present leader is Obama and his Bones man name is Undertaker. And, of course, the number is 322. All is done in secret, yet when we come down to it, they know what is about to occur. The planets break through the chemtrails and then keep looking up and you will see... Yah's face, the Christ's face in the heavens. Oh, look at this. The lightning struck at 5.55 p.m. on 11th of February 2013 when the Pope was signed. And that's the Christ number. It's found 555 times in the 1611 KGV amongst 522 verses. And 522 is the number for Amma, the mother. Here they are. We're getting very exciting. Isaiah 9 6 in Hebrew Gematria, we count every seventh letter and it totals 888, and that's the Greek Gematria for Jesus. And the same for Isaiah 11 1 is this, it's the counting the same, it's 888. And the 9 6 is the Yahweh's conception date, April 1943, the 6th of April. And the 11 1 in Isaiah is uh, his birth date in January, 111, 11, 1, depending which side of the ocean you're on. Here we say 11 first and then 1. So it's all about Australia, 1944. The same code is in Isaiah 11, 1. So you've got 9, 6 and 11, 1. 1944, the rebirth, the resurrection. So we take all this information and write it all out. Everything we've sent, uh, we'll take it into the court and leave another talk on. This is why you're allowed to call it your car because your husband, God, says it. <laughs> now, it's all about Jesse. And there came forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of him. This is uh, Isaiah. 11, 1. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him in the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall judge not after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek. Of the earth, and his and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. So that's what he's, they're all afraid of, and why uh, they don't want the world to know, and much less have Joseph Ratchins uh, speaking with the Christ. Here's the book that is holy: Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, the eighteen thirty edition because there are 8,674 words listed in the Old Testament as years, 8.674 years, is 3168 days. It's the Greek gematria for the Lord Jesus Christ. And so in the Greek, there are 5624 words in the New Testament, so it's all about the numbers. It really is marvellous. And, of course, here he is. The image in the Shroud of Turin is the face of the resurrected, Resurrection means reincarnation. 
It's what resurrection is. The Lord Jesus Christ, whose new name of the Revelation 3, 12 and 19, 12 is Brian Lenny Golightly Marshall. So there's a lot of people that have received my faxes sending, um, announcing the return of the Christ throughout Rome today and New York, lots of places. They have this. It's not like coming in the clouds, isn't it? It was lightning from east to the west. Well, of course, that's what I explained to them. You know, the light, light lightning from east to the west is cyberspace. You what's, know, the next, the, what's the next one then? No, that's... Um, well, that one, carry on. This one? Yeah, that one. Oh. No, the black space. The black space. Yeah. They quickly go past the next one. This one? That's bullshit, yeah. Okay. What about it? This is, this is you. That's come from Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci code. Yes, and this is the bullshit. Mary Magdalene. Well, that's the bullshit part, that's isn't right. it? That's right. They've got to change it because they're lying fucking Jews. Yes, it wasn't Mary, it was Martha. Well, they've got to change it from Mary, haven't they? Hmm. It was Martha. They changed it to Mary because they're lying Jews. Oh, right. They just they reverse everything. Yeah. They have to. It's called the Talmud. Yeah. And that's why he painted it with a coat like that. So Leonardo da Vinci was an essence. So it was uh, King James, and, uh, William Shakespeare. Mm. And that's what I do, isn't it, babe? Yeah. I just lean naturally over and put my head on your shoulder when we're working together. Yeah. <laughs> as well as LB and Winder. <laughs> but this is who it's all about. The risen Lord, resurrected through reincarnation, by let it go, lightly Marshall. We'll go down below, I don't know what that is. Down here? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Jesus resurrected from the dead, April the 5th, 33 AD. That was Jerusalem time. The earth is in its elliptic orbit, orbit speed, speeds up as it draws near to the sun and is moving fastest on January 4th each year and slowest on July the 4th when it's fastest from the sun. On the date of the resurrection and my conception in 1943, April 5th, 6th, the speed of the earth is 66,666 miles per hour. And this is why there are 6,666 verses in the King James 1611 KJB with the word Lord. Hmm. Interesting. Years ago. Have we finished? Yeah. <laughs> well, you could uh, talk about the one that you didn't want to get loaded up because Brendan hit it and, and show everybody about the court appearance on Wednesday. Huh? Well, I took a film of the cops that showed up at the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I don't want to talk about the Well, it's all part of the deal. I mean, everyone knows that. No, no, it just it makes me sick. Just, um, no, spew them out of my mouth, don't I? No, well, let's not confuse things. Anything else? No. Oh, okay. 